Good day everyone, it's Megan Teacher Koy and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin ang ating Grade 8 Mathematics, um, Quarter 3, tapos Module 3. Pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my videos. Okay, so Triangle Congruence, ito po yung title ng ating topic ngayon, Triangle Congruence. And once again, this is for Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 3, Module 3, at nakamilk base po tayo. So, ang ating competency, we have here illustrates triangle congruence. And for our objectives, at the end of the lesson, the student expected to list down the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Identify the congruent triangles wherein the congruent corresponding parts are given and vice versa. And identify the properties of congruence. So, let's proceed to our lesson 1. Our lesson 1 is corresponding parts of congruence triangles. So, two triangles are congruent if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. These triangles have the same size. That is, they exactly overlap each other. So, ibig sabihin nito, pag sinabi natin congruent, uh, they have the same size, the same shape, at saka the same measurement. Okay, so... Yung, for example, we have this one triangle. Tapos yung kanyang mga angles ay the same measurement dun sa angles ng kabilang triangles. So, ibig sabihin, they are congruent. So, at the same time, their sides, the side of this triangle, are also congruent or same measurement to the sides of the other triangle. Okay. So, let us take a look at the two triangles at the right. The congruent parts are marked identically. We have here the two triangles. Okay, so we have triangle. This is the symbol of a triangle. Triangle ABC. And this is the symbol of congruent. Okay, or, or the symbol of congruency. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, so read as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So, this one is a symbol of congruency. And it's the symbol of triangle. So, therefore, triangle ABC, this is our ABC, triangle ABC, and triangle D, E, F, this one, are congruent since their corresponding parts are congruent. So, kung nakikita natin dito, di ba, may mga marking sila. Okay? So, these corresponding parts are shown in the table. We have here the table. We have the vertices. Yes? So, A is congruent to D. Which is, where, where's A? Ito po si A, di ba? Mayroon pa siyang marking. A is congruent to D, this one. And B is congruent to A. This one. And C is congruent to F. Okay. So, sa angles po natin, this is our angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, and angle F. So, since A is congruent to D, so therefore, angle A is congruent to angle D. Okay. This one. And angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. And for the sides... We have this one side AC. This one A, AC is congruent to side DF. Di ba? May markings po sila. Makapareho po sila ng markings. Then side BA, this one, is congruent to side ED. This one. Mayroon pa tayong markings dito. And side BC, this one, is congruent to side EF. Okay, so that's it. And we have here um, exercise. So list down the corresponding parts of the given congruent triangles at right, completing the table. So we have here triangle V, T, U, and triangle Y, X, W. So for the vertices, we have here Y is congruent to V. Where is Y? This one, Y is congruent to V. Okay. And for this first blank here, for the angles, so angle V, since V is congruent to Y or Y is congruent to V, so therefore angle V is congruent to angle Y, right? Okay, or angle U is congruent to angle W, or angle T is congruent to angle X. And for the sides, meron pa sa markings dito, di ba? So this one, this side, TU or side UT is congruent to side WX or XW. Okay. And we have here also side VT. This one is congruent to this one side YX. Okay, so that's it. 
Let's proceed to our lesson 2. Lesson 2 corresponding parts of congruence triangles. If and only if the vertices of the two triangles can be paired so the corresponding sides are congruent, the corresponding angles are also congruent, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, so considered the examples below we have here listed down are the six parts of corresponding parts of two congruent triangles. Meron pa tayong triangles. Congruent, it means makapareho pa sila ng size, shape, at saka measurement. So name the two congruent triangles. So we have here the angles. Angle A is congruent to angle B. Ito po yung symbol ng congruency. And angle C is congruent to angle D. And angle E is congruent to angle F. Okay? Then, side AC, this one, side AC is congruent to side BD. And side CE is congruent to side DF. And side AE is congruent to side BF. And we have to name the two congruent triangles from this given. Okay? So, the two congruent triangles are, we have ang, uh, triangle A, C, E. Right? Triangle ACE and the other one is triangle B D F. Okay, so angle A is congruent to angle B, diba? and angle C is congruent to angle D, and angle E is congruent to angle F. So, therefore, the, the two triangles are triangle ACE and triangle B D F. Okay, so because vertex A is paired to vertex B and vertex C is paired to vertex D and vertex E is paired to vertex F, since Ang kanyang mga vertices ay mga pares po sila, same measurement. So, it implies that their corresponding angles and sides are also congruent. Since ang kanyang mga vertices ay makapareho, congruent. Di ba? So, it means ang kanilang mga angles at saka sides are also congruent. Number two, write down the six pairs of congruent corresponding parts of triangle ABC and triangle X, Y, Z without drawing the triangles. So, we have your triangle ABC and triangle X, Y, Z. So, we have to write down the pairs of congruent corresponding parts. So, we have here triangle ABC and triangle X, Y, Z. They are congruent. So, therefore, angle A, this one, is paired with angle X, diba? or vertex A is paired with vertex X. So, therefore, angle A is congruent to angle X. Diba? And ang, uh, this one, vertex B is paired with vertex Y. So, therefore, angle B is congruent to angle Y. Right? And C is paired with Z. So, therefore, angle C is congruent to angle Z. And for the congruent corresponding sides, we have here side AB. This one, AB, is congruent to side XY. Right? And side BC, this one, is congruent to side y z okay and side c a is congruent to side z x or x z okay so that's it so that's the six pairs of congruent corresponding parts of triangle a b c and triangle x y z okay so try to answer this one given are the six pairs of, of corresponding parts of the tri two congruent triangles name the triangles Okay, so just try to answer this one. Then write down the six pairs of congruent corresponding parts of triangle KLM and N, triangle NOP without doing the triangle. So, yung ginawa natin kanina dito sa taas. This one and this one. So, yan po yung gagawin nyo dito sa exercise. Okay, so that's it. And let's go to our lesson number three, properties of congruent triangles. So, the con congruence of triangles is an equivalence relations. Since congruence of triangles is defined in terms of the congruences of the three pairs of corresponding sides and three pairs of corresponding angles, di ba? Meron yung triangle ay may tatlong, tatlong angles, tapos mayroon siyang tatlong sides. So, three pairs, pares kasi, kasi this triangle is congruent to the other triangle. So, therefore, three pairs, di ba? Three pairs of angles and three pairs also ng kanyang mga sides. Okay, so... It tells that congruence of triangles satisfies the following properties. So, we have your reflexive property. Okay, reflexive property. Side AB is congruent to side AB. If this side AB here of the other triangle has the same measurement, 
dun sa side AB ng isang triangle, nakabalang triangle. So, therefore, side AB of this triangle is congruent to side AB dun sa kabilang triangle. And, angle C, angle C nito isang triangle, has same measurement sa, sa angle C dun sa kabilang triangle. So, therefore, angle C of this triangle is congruent to angle C of the other triangle. And for the symmetric property, if AB is congruent to DE, then DE is congruent to AB. Diba? AB, this one, side AB is congruent to side DE. So therefore, same as side DE is congruent to side AB. Okay, then, angle A is congruent to angle B. Angle B. So ang angle A is congruent to angle B. Same as angle B is congruent to angle A because they have the same measurement. So that's for the symmetric property. And for the transitive property, we have here side AB is congruent to side DE. And side DE is congruent to side GH. Then, side AB is congruent to side GH. Diba? Ibig sabihin nito, if this side AB is congruent to this side DE, and this side DE is congruent to the other side GH, so, therefore, they have the same measurement, the three sides. So, therefore, since DE is congruent to GH and AB is congruent to DE, so, therefore, AB is congruent to GH or GH is congruent to AB. And for the angles, we have here if angle A is congruent to angle B, so, they have the same measurement. And angle B is congruent to angle C. They have also the same measurement. So, therefore, angle C is congruent to angle A. Or, angle A is congruent to angle C. Okay, so that's the transitive property. Okay, so that's it for our lesson 3, properties of congruent triangles. And that's the module 3 of our grade 8 mathematics quarter 3. And once again, it's me, Teacher Koy of Easy Math Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.